Good morning. It is March 17th. I mean, talk about how crazy it continues to be. I mean, part of looking at the birth chart last night, right? And that realization, listening to Miss Christina and, and just that realization and when she talks about relationships, right? And, and me realizing, okay, I know what I gotta do, right? And, and that sense of peace and knowing like why I'm struggling with what I was struggling and, and what task I'm, I'm here on earth to, to heal and, and work through, right? This sense of um, relationships moving forward. You know, don't look back. You know, if it's meant to catch up, it'll catch up. And if it's not, then it's not, right? And, and it really ultimately falls on other people doing the work. <laughs> right? I've said it before. <laughs> You're doing the work, the healing work. Because if not, you're going to fall away. You're going to fall away. And realizing, right? Like, just this realization. Okay. I, I mean, I know people have shared their perspective of the connection that I had. And, and even in retrospect, now that I'm thinking about it, I mean, I, I was just telling someone yesterday, like, I've never had a connection like this before with anybody. Like, like where I, I can't, how quickly it started, how quickly it ended, and, and just how hard it was to just <laughs> let it go. And, and, but then again, I don't know, because apparently that's a pattern of mine. <laughs> with relationships where, where where it feels like I when when there's a commitment right or, or a relation and you know I'm 40 years old but I don't I don't know how to date <laughs> I don't know I don't I'm I mean I dated in high school like I even started thinking about someone asked me like well I was thinking about the people I dated in high school and then in between when, when me and my long-term partner were like on and off again. <sighs> Did I jump in too quickly? Yeah, I had to jump in. But emotionally, it took a while. Like it, it and, mm, I don't even know how to describe it. Like there was never a pull not like this. Not like this. Not like this. But, I mean, I was a kid, right? <laughs> and I was a kid. Mm. Why, why am I going with this? Um, Chris from Middle Pond said, I think it was Chris from Middle Pond, or maybe it was Dana, she said that certain type of connections <laughs> um, because of the connection it's really strong like it, it's so strong that it's hard to like detach yourself from it which makes sense like energetically the the dreams the It makes sense if that's what that is or if it's just how I operate in relationships which <sighs> but even in no I it was only in the long-term relationships that the commitments that I believed I had right that that I would give it my all that I I in essence, would become like the savior in the relationship. So I can see that pattern, that, that Orpheus myth. I said, me look it up just to get more clarity. But from what I am understanding, that sense of saving, going to the ends of the earth. 
for someone. But now knowing that it's something that I need to let go of, that I, I just move forward, just keep moving, just keep moving. Why am I bringing it up? Mm, oh, morning message. Morning message. <laughs> I've spoken to how crazy this is that I experienced something. And then the next morning, MJ talks about it. She talked about it. And I'm going to include the link for her message today where she's talking about <coughs> excuse me <coughs> um where she's talking about like she's talking more about twin flames but <sighs> she she brought it up but she's talking about the situation that I find myself in And, and she's talking more about Pluto retrograde, and so I'm, I'm, I'm like making notes. I'm, I'm gonna take better notes when I hear her. her. And, the, and then the funny thing is, I got a new deck. I love it. I love the art on this one. Like, I just, I love the art. I love it. I love the art. And um. something came up yesterday and I was just like <laughs> and I used it really quick did a really quick Celtic spread I'm like what's this just what's the situation for tomorrow and yeah Vitri Itchel exactly exactly what I suspected like I, I, I'm just I'm, I don't want the drama I don't want the drama and she's and she's talking about you know that for some people they the other person has chosen out and, and I okay right and then she's and then out of the romantic relationship <laughs> and I'm, I, so it's just funny because last night I'm like I don't I don't want a relationship it's just a drama <laughs> and then she's talking, she's talking about some people are choosing to like opt out of the romantic relationship but your mission work she's like your mission work still remains like you still have to you can't hide away she's like you can't hide away from your mission work like somehow or another you're gonna get to that point where you're where like the universe is going to do what it needs to do to get you there if that's your mission and so she was saying she was, this is for someone out there <laughs> so of course it's like many someone's right and i mentioned before that there's many of me's <laughs> and and many of yous out there so it's just funny it's just funny but i'm just so grateful for this if you have not done your birth chart like you have to do your birth chart reading it is mind-blowing mind-blowing um and it's just so helpful and then i kind of wonder too like i mean i'm not in terms of like therapy right in terms of therapy and, and just the clinic i think i'm not a i should i should I should talk to someone who's like a, a, a couples therapist. That's not my forte at all. Like I, I, I remember growing up and be like, mm, mm. <laughs> I don't, I don't do relationships, intimate relationship stuff. Like I just, that was always a soft, like a trigger for me. Um, growing up, I tried it once and I just, I, well, I mean, when I tried giving a couples therapy once. I was still struggling with my own healing and, and my own childhood wounds and I remember this couple, uh, hardworking family and at the end they both sat down and thanked me and then they told me that they were going to split up and I thought, oh my god, I, I caused this split up and it broke me. Like I was like, never again. Now in retrospect, I'm like, okay, that's, you know, they're pivotal to deal with, right? They're drama to deal with. But it definitely deterred me away from, I, I just couldn't. And then even struggling with my own relationship, like it just, it was always something that just triggered me. Now I know why, clearly, now I know why. 
Now I know why. But I wonder if there's any books specifically who, you know, for couples therapists or, or people who provided that type of therapy and, and use those theories. I, I mean, I'm not good with theories, period, but um, like if there was something out there. So, I mean, if you're in that field, <laughs> you could shed some light. I mean, I'll probably, no, I probably won't do any research on that. I just, I don't want to. But um, I'd be curious to know if someone else has that information. Could shed some light. Like if there's anything out there that links, right, that, that can shed light as clearly as this has for me in, in how I operate and how I do things. in relationship to others. It just helps bring more clarity into how I function and how I operate. Like, how could this not be part of that process? Like, I'm just, how can this not be a part of therapy? You know, like, healing work. How could this not be a part of it? And, and you know, I've had conversations with other therapists and, and, and they all say like, there's something, right? There's something. Why, why has it not been tapped into? Or accepted? Like it's, it's this, you know, so separate, right? crazy crazy stuff but I, I I was so relieved to hear that I wasn't the only one <laughs> to 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 have to realize that connection yeah do the work figure it out do your birth chart reading Miss Christina is amazing so I'll include her link there I'll include MJ's link there as well and um I'm going to finish reading her, listening to her morning message. Then I'm going to go meditate. And the funny thing is this weekend I, I opened up my box of treasures of past relationships. And I'm going through that. I'm throwing stuff away. <laughs> I'm going through stuff away. And it's not just like intimate relationships. It's relationships with everybody. Like I have old letters from high school. <laughs> I have. And, and there's a part of me like, do I really want to keep like, this is right? I'm trying to clean, I'm trying to clean house. I'm trying to clean up my stuff. And, and a part of what I'm doing is detaching. And I have a small apartment. And I, I want to use my space for other stuff. I mean, I'm going to let, I'm going to check in with my partner, see if she, you know, may want to keep some of this stuff. I have to pack light. I have to, I have to, you know, Spain or not, I'll be in my car. <laughs> I like that idea that my friend gave me. I'll be in, I'll be in my car traveling the U.S. Like, I like that idea. So I got packed light still, regardless. I'm maybe considering selling my th temper putic bag. I was telling, I was telling my ex-partner this weekend. He's like, what do you do with all your stuff? And I was just like, uh... Some stuff, like, I'm finding homes, but the other stuff, I think I might end up selling it, to be honest with you. Like, why am I going to give people grief with some of my stuff? I think I might end up selling stuff. Why not? You know? Sucks for cash. I mean, if this YouTube thing goes big. <laughs> I mean, my 41 subscribers. <laughs> then I can always buy myself a new, a new, uh... I don't have to repeat it. I mean, has it been amazing? Hell, oh, freaking yeah. Like, I don't think I've ever slept so comfortably <laughs> in my entire life. Why did it take me so long to take care of myself? Um, everyone that's come over is like, try I'll try my bed, try my bed. You have to try it. Free, free advertisement for Tempur Pedic <laughs> mattress. <laughs> but um, it, it's been amazing sleep. 
I, I it's it's so comfortable so comfortable I'm, I'm bottom heavy and so um when i went to um for you big bottom ladies um or people it it was a fact like the other mattresses were hurting like i would get lower back pain and when i went to my physical therapist one of those times where i was having issues because i was weightlifting and i thought i had pulled something and um and then she was saying like oh you're you're too flexible you're too bendy she's like so a lot of the stretches that you do don't do anything to you they're like cake things that other people find difficult to do for you it's cake so she gave me some more intense stretches and i thought oh, that but anyways, she was saying that when I sleep, I had to put like a pillow underneath my knees to tilt my pelvic bone. <laughs> so it's not like this because then it arches my back more. So with the pillow underneath, it tilts it enough to where it's comfortable or my spine isn't strained. Um, I don't have that issue here. I sleep like I flat. I sleep flat. And, and so I'm looking up and I, I'm comfortable. And it's because the the way that mattress it just forms really nicely oh, it's like sleeping on clouds <laughs> so um yeah i might sell it it's paid for it's it's officially paid for so yeah so i might sell my stuff why would I be in that room? There'll be some stuff that I sell. A lot of the stuff that I'll sell. I'll be okay. Me and my 41 subscribers. Thank you guys for support. <laughs> um, I think that's cool. I mean, I started off with like seven, I think. You know, my, my, uh, my, my my crazy crew love you guys so much miss you like crazy they sent me a picture of when i mean if you if you found my my facebook i don't have my name on there i have my my alter ego name <laughs> i created an alter ego for myself um when i would let loose right like not a lot of people would see that and um uh and it started off because I would go to, before I created my alter ego, I would go to Starbucks. I think I could spell my name. So <laughs> I chose Monica. I'm like, just call me Monica. It's easy. Everyone knows Monica. So they could write Monica on the thing. So I mentioned it to the crazy crew. And, and when they, they were dragging, they're like, come on, come on, come dancing, come clubbing with us. And when I first started working and I was like, oh, okay, I gave in. And, um. <laughs> they took pictures of me dancing I, I sweat I tend to like sweat a lot and so like the picture shows like my hair is like I straighten my hair so curly and I'm just like it's just the funniest picture maybe I'll show it I'll, I'll show it and and they just sent it to me actually this weekend too and they're like we miss when did they say we um when are we going back and um and it's funny, like I'm freaking in a whole nother, oh gosh, oh, but it has my friend's name. Mm, is there any way, oh, there we go. I don't know if you guys could see that. Look at that, I'm like freaking sweating. Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. Freaking sweating, my hair was so long and it's uh, like sticking to me. And I, but I'm like having fun. I, I look like I'm having fun. I mean, I was, it was like hell of fun. And um, they're so funny. <laughs> they're all ratchet life. I miss it. <laughs> they're just so funny. And um, and so yeah. So um, they liked my alter ego come out. So they nicknamed me Monix. Monix. And so um, when I had my Facebook account, so there's something with mental health where, like, as a therapist, you're you're technically not supposed to have like your clients follow you because that's like um conflict of interest and, and just boundaries and, and and it's um i forgot what the word is i've been away from the field I'm like oh i forgot what the world is um but there's a word in terms of just because we're not supposed to be friends we're not supposed to be friends with the people we became clients 
it's just a rule boundaries ethics like you just want to make sure it, the role is clear and yet it's not blurred and there's no dual relationships that's what it is dual relationships um and I noticed that some of my clients were finding me and, and I was like mm, sorry I can't be your friend doesn't that suck like like you can't be a part of someone's life after helping them I think that sucks but whatever that's the state of the world the constructs we live in um and so I mean there's purpose there's purpose behind everything I shouldn't mock it there's purpose because some people take advantage right there's some people that take advantage and and then people get in trouble and there's a sense of there's a power differentiation and and because people haven't done their healing work right it plays out it plays out in your role as a service worker it plays out as, as a role in a service worker I like where is it going So yeah, so a lot of people were asking me to, or like, I, it was open before, and then I closed it off. It's like, oh, sorry, I can't be your friend. Um, then I decided to change my name <laughs> to Monique's. It says Monique Santana instead of UB Sant <laughs> Um Well, technically, that's not my last name either. <laughs> that's technically not my last name either, so... Um, it never really was my last name. I mean, it was part of my last name. Oh, man. It was part of my last name. But I changed it with recently. So, anyways. Um, yeah. So I have Monique's. It's my alter ego. And my crazy friends call me Monique's. When is Monique's gonna come out to play? <laughs> Why was I talking about Monique's? Where did this come from? I don't even remember how I got to that. Why did I? It's about dancing, it was about letting go. Mother. <laughs> no idea how I got there dang it was there another message that I was supposed to s I don't remember gosh darn it I hate when that happens I just wanted to share that with MJ because it just it's so funny how that happens and then to hear like so many people were struggling with it I mean like I was right if not letting go and, and just Hmm. With this whole relationship drama. No drama. I want drama. I don't want drama. I just I don't want drama. What else was I gonna say though? <sighs> oh well. I hope you got something from it. Have a good day. My name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth. This just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t-shirt designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at. Um, inspired by this process and journey um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel so you're more than welcome to check those items out um, any type of support is you know 
great. <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step and, and, and be vulnerable, you know, with, with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth, we realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were. And so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience it, and that you find some type of truth for yourself or, or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with, with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and, you know, we'll see what else um, comes next for me.